Hi again, this is Eve. Hope you're all uh, doing fine. Uh, I found this material. It's a type of neoprene, but it's uh, grid-like. It's um, probably here's yellow on this side and blue on the other. Then I found this black and white. Okay, with the squared grids. And um, I got an idea that I should put like put it on the material and work with this to see what kind of item we can come up with. I'll be doing a, a small bag and um, I think the black here I think this shows up it's um, nicer than maybe maybe these other colors here what do you think look at this or maybe for example the blue what do you think if uh, I'm gonna use the black because uh, I, I think it shows up really well Cut out the lining the same uh, size as the shell, okay, and then start working with the lining first. I'd like to put a, just a little pocket on the lining, so of course before I attach it to the shell. So I tr you try to estimate, you fold it in half like this, and you try to estimate the size of the pocket. So I cut out some my pocket here and I think this size is good enough. It can be even maybe slightly smaller. Make sure the direction, for example, this is the top of the bag, this is the bottom. So here's this pocket that was, I folded the top part and here I'm going to stitch like one centimeter from the edge. And when I'm finished stitching one centimeter from the edge, I'm going to turn it, put it here because I need to apply it to the lining. And then I'm going to pin it. So you fold these parts in, of course you iron them. You pin, for example, you pin here. you pin over here too and you pin this way this part here you make sure everything's pinned properly if you want to baste it you can baste it but make sure you don't close the top because this is the pocket the opening to the pocket so when you take it to the sewing machine you sew like this first you start here you back stitch and you sew you go back and forth a couple times and then you go all the way around a few millimeters from the edge you go all the way around and when you come back here there again you back stitch a couple times okay back and forth back and forth so the pocket was sewn on to the lining like this so to proceed we're going to be putting a zipper here in this project here and to proceed slowly you can take the right side of the shell here is the zipper okay and you turn it like this and you pin so you do this and if you really go want to go slowly and not get con too confused you baste all along here first okay so this is what you do you go along this is the right side 
and so you turn you take the zip and you you turn it like that the zipper tape and you baste here all along so I went along and basted the right side of the shell to the zipper tape So this is the zipper pull here. Now it's time to base the lining, to attach the lining to the zipper tape, the same zipper tape. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this, hold it like this, and this lining here, remember this is the right side. You turn it like this. You take the lining, the right side now of the lining goes here. It goes right here so I'm going to pin it in place and show you Okay, so this is just a quick example because then I'm going to be basting it. So the right side now goes to the zipper tape in that way. So in the end, when it's all basted, it looks like this. Okay, it looks like this. So... Take note that this is the zipper pull. The outside and the inside. So now I'm going to baste and I'll be right back. So with both sides basted, It looks like this. So what you can do is you turn it like this and you sew all along a few millimeters from the edge. You sew there very carefully. And what you want to do is you're going to have to do the same thing on the other side, on the other part of the tape, zipper tape. So in this side, you have to do the same exact thing, thing you did on this side. So with both sides basted, It looks like this. So what you can do is you turn it like this. And you sew all along a few millimeters from the edge. You sew there very carefully. And what you want to do is you're going to have to do the same thing on the other side, on the other part of the tape, zipper tape. So in this side, you have to do the same exact thing, 
thing you did on this side. So turn inside out, you open the zipper at least a little bit and then you go and you stitch on this side and this side. But you'd like to leave a little opening in the lining because you need to turn it inside out. So I'll do that and I'll show you in a minute. The sides, yes, they were sewn. This part was left open for it to be turned inside out. And uh, the zip, you sew on top of the zip, but um, you have to be very careful that your needle, with the needle, so that it doesn't um, break. Or if you don't want to, you can hand stitch very carefully this part, the part for the zip was easy going around here but um, you have to be very careful with the zips you can hand, st hand stitch uh, those areas so here I can start clipping off this part of the zip here this. Okay. I'll start turning it inside out see what what's going on here now Zip a little bit so I can easily turn it again. Okay, push these out a bit and here, so at the end what you, the result is like a pouch, okay? So this now it's going to be inserted in the applied, inserted, I'll show you how I do it, in the grid part. So here it is. Now for this part here, I have to close the opening in the lining. The one that, this part that was left opened. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. This uh, grid material was cut to the size of the pouch, more or less exactly, uh, the size of the pouch. And so now I'm anchoring here the corners, here to the side, these two corners of the grid material. And I'm doing that with some white uh, resistant thread. So I'm going through here. I'm going to go through here too. And you go through the other side. So I'm going to be anchoring them, anchoring these to the corners here, to the sides here. I decided to use this white cord and just weave it uh, inside, in and out of the grid material here, like this. It goes in here, goes in here and comes out this way so that it makes uh, 
sort of a pattern. So I went along and these cords, I sewed them, I hid the knots that were sewn here and there. So you really want a neat sewing, a neat stitching, so you hide any sort of um, knots, frays, whatever. Now we have to try to understand what kind of um, strap cord you know that's up to you maybe a uh, for me i think i'm not really sure it's either you can continue with the cord okay depends on your taste or you can sew a strap that's the strap from this material you can continue the strap always sort of um combining it with the cord okay so i'm going to show you how i'm going to combine this strap with the cord with this uh, piece of material then i've decided to cut these two cords equal length okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold it like this more or less on itself like this iron so in the strap okay this uh, cord was inserted and you go back and forth three four times because remember we have to pull on this part here and if you're not sure and you're really not certain about your type of thread that it's good or whatever you can always use the strong thread hand stitch with a strong thread to always reinforce this uh, area here Eve is signing off now, so till the next video, have a great day.